Minister Audrey Khan. Distinguished guests, uh, board member and CEO of TW Nick, uh, Kenny Huang, uh, Vice President and Stakeholder Engagement and Management Director of ICANN APEC, uh, Luo Jianrong, uh, and uh, Director General of AP Nick, Dr. Paul Wilson, uh, and esteemed experts, scholars, uh, and all people committed uh, to one internet, one world, I welcome you to the first ICANN APEC TWNIC engagement forum and the 39th TWNIC IP Open Policy Meeting. It is my pleasure to extend the warmth of greetings to all assembled today. For many years, uh, Taiwan has depended on TWNIC to aid our government and indeed our society in adopting innovative internet technologies and especially collaborating with diverse stakeholder groups to advance the development of, among other things, IPv6, domain names, systems, and so on within Taiwan. As of this April, the registration for .tw and .taiwan domain names surpassed 530,000. This forum addresses issues such as internet cybersecurity, internet governance, domain name market trends, international cooperations, and so on. Uh, and the primary aim is to explore internet policy development by gathering input from various communities and come to a rough consensus and hopefully running code. It is also, I think, very important that this multi-stakeholder model, this living um, proof that multi-stakeholder governance works, uh, serves as an example for our ministries and our municipalities and everyone in our public sector uh, to join this common vision of one world, one internet to build a stable, advanced and secure internet that is shared by all. Now, uh, this vision is very close to our uh, core mission in the Ministry of Digital Affairs, which is called Digital Resilience for All. Resilience, as you know, means the ability to quickly recover from adversity and growing after an attack. And it includes three pillars, uh, which I will uh, recap very briefly here, uh, societal, industrial, and emergency resilience. Societal resilience focusing on the empowerment of our civil society by connecting the democracy network worldwide. We initiated the Digital News Co-Prosperity Dialogues with global platforms, uh, such as uh, Meta and Alphabet, uh, and brought together on our site the Ministries of Culture uh, and Fair Trade Commission, National Communication Commission, and so on, to explore ways to foster a mutually beneficial cooperation with Taiwan's print, broadcast, and digital journalism. And we believe that accurate news reporting is the bedrock of democracy and digital competence requires a well-informed and discerning citizenry. And in the face of authoritarian expansionism, democracies must confront very formidable challenges including, as of this year, interactive deepfakes that undermines the delicate equilibrium between societal well-being on one side and individual liberty on the other. Our efforts must go well beyond devising protective um, measures, because what we need is a trajectory embracing the triad of participation, progress, and safety through the power of collective intelligence. And the TWSRCC session discussed how to enhance the resilience of network operations through our TWSRCC notification uh, threat indication uh, sharing mechanism, allowing all internet users to obtain the best protection. And the plenary session of TWIGF explained how governments can ask internet platform operators to avoid presenting clearly illegal internet content and design appropriate regulatory policies to ensure responsible monitoring. Now, the industrial resilience arm is our commitment to facilitate digital transformation across all business sectors while fostering a robust ecosystem. Now, as um, all of you probably know, uh, Taiwan possesses the most highly advanced um, IT industry with the world-class semiconductor supply chain. Uh, and that supply chain has a wealth of experience neutralizing cyber threats. With global standards such as SEMA E187, we elevate this Made in Taiwan brand to represent a guarantee of integrity and a solid shield uh, to our democratic partners. Now, in response to the cyber threats, 
Uh, Tina Monique has also arranged the relevant material, including two keynote speeches to discuss the establishment of internet governance norms by multiple stakeholders, enabling the development of networks that meet the need of security uh, from all sectors. And additionally, Telenik and Dot Asia CEOs will introduce the content of the MOU signed between the two organizations last year and their established industry um, cooperation mechanism and framework, and how this mechanism can enhance the ecosystem of network operators, including the security cooperation and also to prevent the continuous expansion of cybercrime. Now, we also welcome everyone to express their opinions and suggestions on these critical issues as a reference to future policymaking in terms of industrial resilience. Now, finally, emergency resilience impels us to effectively respond to various <coughs> earthquakes, uh, various crises, whether natural or unnatural. Uh, and recent incidents, uh, such as those during uh, last year's uh, former U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's historic visit to Taiwan, uh, we saw the threat actors unsuccessfully attempted to undermine public trust in our democratic system and to counter such coordinated emerging threats, um, including, as I mentioned, AI-powered spear phishing and interactive deepfakes and so on, we are consolidating public and private cybersecurity capabilities, implementing the zero trust network architecture, and conducting exercises, uh, including actual red team exercises with our uh, foreign counterparts, to ensure the seamless operation of critical infrastructure even when uh, all our submarine cables are disrupted by earthquakes. And so we're uh, integrating new satellite providers this year, enabling multiple uh, non-terrestrial networks to reinforce one another uh, across land, sea, and air in times of such crisis. And so in the cybersecurity six session of this forum, we have invited uh, ICANN's regional technical engagement management in the Asia Pacific region, um, Champika Wiyata, um, sorry, Champika Wijaya Tunga, uh, to share more stable <coughs> and secure DNS best practices in times like this uh, and examples to help us ensure safe and reliable operations. Now, in uh, last year, I signed the Declaration for the Future of the Internet, or DFI, along with 60 partner countries. The declaration cemented our shared values and deepened our commitment to democratic allies, and it paved the way to free the future in the digital realm together. Now, it also highlights the need for the global multi-stakeholder participation in governing the Internet together as a digital commons. I am thrilled to see that this conference has invited um, the representative from many Indo-Pacific countries to explore the impact of internet regulations. The MODA, our ministry, will certainly continue to encourage and advocate for the sharing of not just digital transformation, but also resilience for all, promoting our common beliefs in democracy, peace, rule of law, sustainable development, and upholding human rights on this cyberspace. Um, in closing, this event, I think, provides an excellent opportunity to delve deeply into global internet issues. And I look forward to standing shoulder to shoulder with Taiwan and all stakeholders that care about Taiwan in pursuing digital resilience for all. So let us work together to create a better future for the digital age. I wish this forum a successful and very fruitful outcome. Thank you all, live long and prosper. Thank you very much, Minister Tang, for your opening remarks. Minister Tang, please take your seats downstage. Thank you. And we want to thank the Ministry of Digital Affairs for its full support in improving the uh, resilience in the digital age and to improve the digital resilience for all. So once again, thank you, Minister Tang.